Hello everyone, if you're surprised to all, this video we will speak about magic. I was browsing in the internet and I saw this video which took my attention. Now this video here made by Muslims about black magic explained. You know when you say black magic explained you think somebody is going to show us that black magic is nothing but a fabrication. Uh, by the way someone might say to you, you know what, even the Bible speak about magic. The Bible speak, uh, uh, the Bible reject such as an existence of such a thing actually uh, magic in the bible is like there is a verse speak about uh, the priest they notice that the magic of Moses beat their magic but this is what they think it's not our, the god of the christians saying that Moses he did magic because this is not what we and the jews believe we believe that Moses by the power of god he did what he did, he did. He, his stick is not a stick of magic and he don't have a you know a stick of magic. He don't have the ring of uh, of the Lord. That is a, a false fiction. So none of us believe in magic. We believe that Satan have a power. Yes, we believe that Satan there is an evil spirit. Yes, uh, but that have nothing to do with magic. Magic simply is someone using certain knowledge, which is supposedly evil knowledge, and that mostly is using certain words. And those words will give you control of others. So simply, this is nothing but uh, based on uh, ancient legions uh, um, spread between nations. Like if you notice, because people at that time were more ignorant, a lot of more ignorant. And um, uh, anyone want to scare someone, he will claim that he can do magic. Uh, like today, we have people who they are uh, called a magician. Now those people they use their uh, let us say they have a very uh, high uh, uh, IQ let us say this way because in order to do that actually you have to be very smart uh, and they use that intelligence they have to manipulate things and to make you believe it's true when the fact they themselves they don't today because it's not a secret no more they say to you it's fabrication it's not true nothing nothing there is true. Uh, so there is no magic but the Muslims still they stuck with the Quran because the Quran says there is magic the Hadith says Muhammad was, was bewitched by black magic a Jewish guy he took some hair from his I don't know where I don't want to say and then he was controlling Muhammad by the hair of Muhammad it's like voodoo you know but this is false there's nothing it's called voodoo you see if you if you repeat a lie, you repeat it too much, you will be you will became a believer in that lie, and then that is called magic for you. But I believe that uh, Muhammad he uh, come with the excuse of magic, as I say, excuse to give him excuse of his weird and strange and crazy behavior. Because if I am sick or under or I claim I am under magic, it's me forgive me, excuse me. It's not me who was doing that. I was under magic. It's like someone saying to you, I was drunk. Uh, do you blame me when I was drunk? I, I'm not in control. Uh, I will play a little bit part of the, the, the Muslim video, and then we will go in details to show you what is magic really in Islam. Now, a lot of things have been attributed to Sayyidina Sulaiman which are untrue. One of which is magic. There are some of Al Yahud, the Jews, who attribute magic to Sayyidina Sulaiman. Where, where? You know, where is the Jews they attribute? You see, Muslims, they come with the stories. Where? Can you show me? I want to see, you know, the Jews, they go by the Bible. Can you show me? It is your prophet who come with this, not the Jews. You see how always they blame the Jews for anything? Who is the one who claimed that Sulaiman have a super... I agree that the Jews they have legions, but this is not the religion, it's legion, which means it's a story for children before bedtime. But none of the Jews believe in that. As an example, it's you in your Quran who teach people that Sulaiman, he have an army of birds and chicken and goats, he have an army of, uh, he have a flying horse, uh, Sulaiman, he have a flying carpet, uh, Sulaiman, he control uh, the genies. Actually, what about the ring of Suleiman? Suleiman, he went to the bathroom, he took off his ring, and then the, the, the genie, he took it, the Sayyid Shaitan, and then he wear it, and then he became uh, Suleiman. Like, come on. 
Don't blame the Jews. It is in your religion. You are the one who attribute all of this to Suleiman. Actually, if you go and read in my book, which is just published today, uh, I have a big section uh, speaking about Suleiman's story, which you guys really will love and enjoy, showing you how stupid those stories are. And it's a very clear evidence that Islam is nothing but false fiction. But yet they are trying to say that Quran is a book of science. And the reason I went there actually to speak about it because the Muslims they invited me there, they, to go there. The Muslims they want me to expose Quran more and more. Because when you go and you make a claim in the chapter full of, of, of fictions and then you are saying that this is a chapter speaking about science, well, excuse me, you are forcing me to expose your book badly. So I advise Muslims to read my book and see the, 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 the fabrication, the, 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 the false fiction, uh, the, the uh, science fiction of the Quran. The most amazing how, how, uh, how funny this book is, which is called the Quran. So now he is claiming that the one who is uh, uh, attributing that to Suleiman is the Jews. Now, is that true? Absolutely not true. However, Maybe I will make another video about Suleiman, but maybe we can take a, a peek a little bit to show you that it is in the book of Suleiman that Suleiman, he have a superpower of magic because how he can control the genies by the ring. What is the ring? It's a magical ring. Hello? So don't tell me it is the Jews. I'm just showing you you know, when you, when you read Islamic uh, uh, websites or Islamic books, you, you feel like you are, you are reading the mind of a bunch of kids. Honestly, they are like kids. Look at this. You know, read with me and love. The guy in the video, he just said that the one who attribute that to Suleiman is the cult one. Here we go. If this is true, it means you are a cult too. Uh, in the Surah of Al-Baqarah, we are two angels who are known to be behind the black magic. Angels are behind the black magic. Hmm, mashallah. And according to Quran, those angels, what they do? They teach the one who will make the wife and husband fight. What? What, what, just wait. What, what they do? Yes, this is the verse in the front of you. Chapter two, verse 102. So Allah sent two angels, and they came down in the in the uh, uh, in the Babylon tower. And uh, why the Babylon tower? Well, it's very weird. It says there the Babylon. You know they came, and what is their names? Those are Armenian, by the way. This is those are a story of two 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 guys, who they are Armenian from the legion of the Armenian about two angels who used to teach magic but those are not nothing to do with the Christianity it's a legion of the Armenian uh, so Harut and Marut they are from ancient legion of the Armenian Muhammad he took the story he put it in his Quran and he make that those are two angels who come down from the tower of the Babylon which is exactly what the legions say and then they are the one who taught the magic for those who want to do trial for them or those who want to make a wife and, and, and his husband, the, the, the husband and the wife uh, fight. What, what kind of logic this logic is? Very funny, very weird. And then if you, and this is all happened by what? Uh, but they could not thus harm anyone except by Allah permission. So are you telling me that the one who want to harm Muhammad with the black magic, Allah give him permission? That's weird. And later we will see in the story of Muhammad to show you the fabrication of the Quran and the stupidity of the Quran maker. Later, Muhammad, he received two angels from Allah as rescue and they do clean him from the black magic. So Allah is the one who gave a permission to bewitch Muhammad and then Allah to solve the problem, he sent two angels as doctors to recover Muhammad from the black magic. Make sense to you? It doesn't make sense. He is the one who shot him and then he is the one who took him to the hospital. Like, are you sure? Ah, things happen in Islam. And the story, you see it here in Sahih Bukhari, you know, uh, hadith number, uh, book number 54, hadith number 490, where two persons, they came to Muhammad 
And here it says in my dream, it doesn't say in the hadith in my dream, this is for fabrication of the translator, and said one on my head and one in the other in my other feet, and then the other one asked as the other one, what's wrong with this guy? He told him he was bewitched by a Jewish guy. Again a Jewish guy, a, again a Jewish guy. So simply this is a proof to us that Islam is nothing but false fiction. Like I don't know how stupid a human being can be. I don't know how donkey you are to be to be to be a believer in such a stupid thing. Do you really believe that God sent angels to teach black magic, and then the black magic need the permission from Allah to be to happen to you, which means Allah is is causing you harm by black magic? Why Allah need the black magic to cause you harm? If He is God the Almighty, He can harm you by saying one word. He don't need even to say the word without saying it. He can make you disappear. What black magic and what two angels and why two angels and why the baby loan? Huh? I'm sure if Muhammad heard about the White House at that time, he would say the White House. So simply those stories is meant for stupid uh, individuals who don't want to open their mind and their brain. Same time when you say to me, uh, like in, in, the, in, the, uh, in, in this Muslim website, you will see that uh, when, when the shaitan uh, he stole the ring from the wife of Suleiman. Like what? What he stole? Are you serious? The ring of the Lord, brother? The story actually here, they are making it simple. You can read in my book. Uh, Suleiman, he went to the bathroom. All right? Don't go ever to the bathroom and leave your ring outside. Look what happened to Suleiman. The poor Suleiman, he was a king before he went to the bathroom. After he went to the bathroom, he became homeless. So he went to the bathroom. And then he left his ring with his wife. And this ring, all right, uh, read, read with me, man, read. I don't want to read all. It's really funny. So when, when he went to the bathroom, he left the ring with his woman. And her name is Al Jarada. Very funny name. Uh, Satan took advantage of this opportunity. He came in the form of Suleiman. <laughs> Look at the drama, man. Look at the disaster. So I, right now I am in the bathroom uh, and then someone else come to my wife and he said to her, I am a Christian prince, give me his ring. I look like him, give me the ring. So my wife, she gave me the ring and right away you became the king. Ooh, ooh, wow, well, that's a story. That is really, uh, don't you feel like you want to convert to Islam? Like, come on, like, come on. And then they speak about cult and they speak about, come on, Abdul. How is stupid a human being to believe in such a story? And then, by the way, uh, uh, I don't want to just read my book. Read my book and laugh. This story alone is will make you laugh like crazy. So, and then the Satan, he took the ring from the wife. And then for sure, Suleiman, he went from the bathroom. And then uh, the story suddenly uh, disconnected. Like, we don't know what happened. Like, how come? Okay, you know what? Satan, he come in the form of Suleiman. And he took the ring. And now he became the king. But what happened to Suleiman? What well, he was in the bathroom, right? When he came out, he didn't, didn't he tell them that I am Suleiman? Well, what happened to my ring? No, the story suddenly disappeared. Suleiman disappeared. He became homeless. How we don't know. And none of his people knows how Suleiman, uh, even that this is Satan, Shaitan, not Suleiman. So Suleiman, he was he went homeless. Just to make it short, man, the story is really long, but you will enjoy it if you read it. Suleiman he became homeless and now the shaitan were in the king however uh, the wives of Suleiman they notice that shaitan is really became oh sorry sorry their husband because they don't know that this is shaitan they notice that their husband he became very powerful in the bed uh -huh. this is how shaitan was exposed otherwise they will never know that this is not Suleiman because he can do it forever he can keep having sex like a rabbit like never before. So the wives of Suleiman, they tell, they tell the elders of the kingdom, they, you know, the elders, they ask them, do you notice anything strange about your husband? Because they themselves, they felt something fishy. So they said, yes, he's so strong in the bed. Wow, very, very strong. He do hundreds of women every day. So right away, they discover that this is going to be Suleiman. And then... The, 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 the shaitan, he threw the ring in the ocean, and then Suleiman, he, he, uh, he helped somebody with carrying this fish, and he gave him a fish as a payment. He went home, he cleaned the fish, he found the ring, he became a king. Come on. Follow with me with more videos, and don't forget to read my book.
God bless you. Thank you very much.